Hello and welcome to the Forens Tech channel. This video will cover the simple way to create an NCase file and how to add digital evidence to this same file. Now to start off with, what we need to do is to create a new NCase file, which can be done by accessing the NCase program under the start menu or on your desktop if you have it there as an icon. Now what we want to do when we open it is to add a new file to analyze any digital evidence you will come across. This can be done in the main interface area and looking for a heading case file as displayed in this video well, under the heading click the first link named new case. A new dialog box will open up on screen which will be labeled as case options. The first uh, task to manage is to give the file a suitable name. Now in forensic practice it is a good idea to name a case file beginning with a date and followed by a useful name that can be related to later on with underscore marks between each of the spaces. This will help identify clearly what the file is meant to represent and when you have first created this file. Next, you want to find a suitable location to put your file in. This you can choose at your own discretion, but choose a wise place where you will not forget it or may accidentally delete it later on. Now, one of the options that is available to us is the Dixon box, which is the use base case folder for primary evidence caps. This is an option to choose, but a wise one to take if you would like all the evidence cache to be stored with the end case file where you have saved it. You can either leave this selected to do so or if you wanted to select to put the evidence cache somewhere else that isn't with your file leave this box unchecked. Now below this is the case info as seen on screen. You have three rows which you can fill in yourself by simply double clicking the name of each of the three rows. For the first row, case number, give this a meaningful reference you could give to your case, like here as I have put exercise 1. For the examiner name, put in your own name to say that this is yours and that you are the examiner of the case file. And finally, for the last row description, simply add a description of your case file and what it contains and what it's meant to examine. After Completing any of the other options that you have liked to choose, click on the OK button to create your file. Now that you have created your end case file, now is the time to add an evidence uh, to your file of your own choosing. Now, on the screen, you'll have a few options and a few headings like evidence, search, browse, report, and case. Now to add the, an evidence file, you want to go under the heading of the first one at the very top, which is called evidence. Click the link add evidence and then another option will come up with a heading file. Now click on the second link underneath which says add evidence file. This will open a dialog box of Windows Explorer and search for your NCase file of wherever you have saved it and double click on it and open and this will display it in the NCase program. As soon as you've added your evidence file to the NCase file your screen should now look like mine on this video. Now will be a good time to save this video so that you don't lose your evidence file. Now why is this NCase all important? It's important to an investigation because it's a very good forensic tool where you can do multiple functions with your evidence file in NCase which I will show to you in the next video. In conclusion and summary to this video, it is very good for an investigator to always name their cases with a very useful identification and add always add important details that might be relevant to an actual investigation and to also store evidence in a complete safe environment. 
Now for all those who have watched this video, this is actually a video produced by a student from the University of Central Lancashire and this is based from my project so any information you have gathered from this please use at your own risk as this may not be correct and it is could be liable that you could make a mistake with it please be warned when using this video